Hey, what's up? I'm Deep Black, and I want to introduce to you Real Street Talk and his partnership with WeStimulate.org. What we do here is bring you straight facts from the cultural community of hip hop. Because hip hop is hip hop, and you don't stop, you know what I'm saying? So check out Black Acts at WeStimulate.org or RealStreetTalk.net, R-E-E-L. want to sometimes buy into these conspiracy theories, these easy ways of viewing the world, us versus them, because reality is actually a lot more complicated and a lot more hard to understand and figure out. Yeah, listen, this reminds me of a few years ago, maybe five or six years back, maybe, you know, there was this obsession that they had with uh, the new Black Panthers, right? And now Antifa is the new, new right. Black Panthers, right? And then there was, I'm sure there was the something new, before new. that and something before that, and the eight horn or something. It was always like some boogeyman that they need to um, get people riled up and play on their fears. Is that one successful prosecution can rectify the hurt and loss that so many people feel. The solution to that pain will be slow and difficult work of constructing justice and fairness in our society. That work is the work of all of us. We don't need to wait for the resolution and investigation of this case to start that work. We need citizens, neighbors, leaders in government and in faith communities, civil and human rights activists to begin rewriting the rules for a just society now. We need new policy and legislation and ways of thinking at the municipal, state, and federal levels. The world of arts and entertainment can use their cultural influence to inspire change that we need. LA Chargers head coach Anthony Lynn, one of four minority coaches in the NFL, said this to the LA Times. I haven't done anything to make this a better place for my son. I remember having to talk with him when he was 16 about how to handle police. And then at age 30, I called him up and just had to talk with him again because I'm so scared. I want to do something, but to be honest with you, I don't know what that is. I don't want to be doing this again 20 years from now. And so I'm looking for ways to sit at the table and have a conversation about this broken system. That's Anthony Lynn. not going to be sound. We're, we're, we're bracing now in the next hour to hear directly from the president. He may be making a statement in the Rose Garden over at the White House. We don't know that for sure. It hasn't been any official announcement yet, but uh, it looks like they're preparing for something along those lines. As you know, Mayor, uh, earlier in the day, he had a, a conference call with governors from all over the country. He called Minneapolis, and you heard this before, a laughing stock. He urged all the governors to get tough on protesters. Uh, What does that tell you specifically, Mayor, about his understanding of this very tense situation that's unfolding across the country, including in your beautiful city of Atlanta right now? He doesn't have an understanding of what's happening right now in this country. And um, he he seemed to be destabilizing our country even more with his unstable behavior and assessment of where we are. Listen to them. Meet them at their level. Stop pushing them back. Stop stop trying to use military force to push them back. What are you going to do? All the might in the world and use the military to push them back? These are Americans. Your constituents. Your fellow Americans. And so I, I don't understand what the President of the United States is doing by bringing all of this in. There is a very simple solution to this. Listen to the people. And that could have been solved a long time ago if you just listen and engage the people. And I can tell you, Wolf, uh, when that tear gas is fired out uh, on the street uh, near the White House, you can smell it uh, down the block. It is not something that you just have to be in that same vicinity in order to experience that. And it, I think it does beg the question, why is the president
spontaneous and unrehearsed news interview with the chief of staff of the Black Panther Party, David Hillier. Your minister of information uh, is now in exile, Ed Eldridge Cleaver. Uh, you speak with him often on the phone, is that correct? Well, you know I do. They tap the phone. The phone is probably hooked up to the White House. The leadership of the party, its national leadership, sits with uh, David Hillier. Bobby Seale is in and out of prison. Uh, Huey Newton is in jail at this point for a number of years. And Elders Cleaver is in Algeria. David was someone who was considered a, um, I think you say he was a sound storekeeper. He kept the shop in order. Richard Nixon is a chief spokesman of the American people, and if the man uh, is not responsible for the people in government, like the FBI agencies or the local police, then uh, he should stand up and uh, let the American people know that he do not endorse the kind of campaigns that's been waged against well, black people in this world. world.